Instead of making another tutorial like I usually do here on the channel, I thought of doing something different today. I've been testing the Obsidian Kanban plugin for a while, and I would like to talk to you about how I'm using it, some of the issues I'm having, and kind of a wish list that I have here. Uh, of course, I'll cover some of the settings I have to, to show you how it works. But what I'm trying to say here is that it's not going to be a, a, a traditional tutorial. I'm not going through all the settings. Okay, let's start by installing the plugin. We have to go to the community plugins tab, turn them on. If you search for Kanban, you see some options here, but in reality, there are mostly two. This one is the one I tried first. It looks better, but I quickly noticed that this is more tasks oriented and this is not what I was looking for. I was looking for something that would convert my notes into cards. And this is exactly what the Kanban plugin does. So let's install it and enable it. As usual, here's the settings page. We're not going to go through all of them, but I'll come back here in a moment. First, let me show you how to create a board. It is so easy, so simple that I had to go to the manual to find out how to do it. Just right click any folder and here you have it. New Kanban board. So you're creating a node that is in reality a Kanban board. Okay, let's create a replica of one of my boards. You can click here and rename it. And create your cards from here. You can also click here to insert a list, a new list before, a new list after, or you can drag and drop uh, holding those little dots here like you do on an, on other Kanban software like Trello, for example. I have something similar to this on my real Obsidian account. Let me show you the first thing I liked about this uh, plugin. If I create a, a new card here, for example, I want to, I, I had, let's say I had the idea for this video. I now have a new card that I can drag around like any Kanban card. But for now, there is no note attached to this card. And I like this because I come up with so many ideas for videos and I just add them here. I can write down that idea. And if something uh, develops from there, I can then create a note. But of course, you can also drag a node here. Let's say I um, want to drag this node here. And if you click here, of course, you'll go to that node. I'm going to right click and open it in a new tab. So here it is. And of course, I can drag it just like the other one. Like I told you, you can create this board anywhere and I end up creating it inside the templates folder. So let's fix this and at the same time show you how I do it on my real account. To make things more organized, I have a folder uh, that I called Kanban. And to make it even easier to find it, I have a little square like this. Kind of looks like a board. <laughs> this will make the folder more visible and we'll move it to the top of the list, depending, of course, on the way you are ordering uh, your folders. Let's drag this here. So all my Kanban boards I create inside this folder. Let's go back here, new Kanban note. Here, I'm gonna add front matter. Let's say title, this one created. And in created, we can do this, okay. The idea is, oh, hold on. There's something missing here. I forgot you have to write this date. OK, 
Okay, now it's going to work. Okay, the idea here is when I create a new node based on this template, it will automatically grab today's date and add it to the created property field. But there is more. If we go to our board and click the settings gear, I can select a template to create new cards. So I just selected this one. If I create a new card here and convert this to a note, it will have that template. But there is more. <laughs> Let's go back to the settings and I can select where I want that node to be created. Let's select Kanban. This is exactly what I'm currently doing, but to be honest, I'm not happy with it because at some point I'll have to uh, move that node to a different folder. Uh, the problem is I'm using the same board for everything I create, uh, the medium posts, YouTube videos, the newsletter, everything I create, I create using the same board. And I would love to have a way to, at the same time, select a template and save that note, that card as a note in a specific folder. Maybe that's too much to ask. So I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what's the best way to do this. But the beauty of this uh, feature is that you can select a different template for each board. When you go to the gear, the settings, you are going to that board settings. So you can select a, a, a different node to create a, a different template to create the card. So in a way, if I had four or five boards, I would be able to uh, save each node in a specific uh, folder, but I don't want to do that because the workflow is the same. So I want everything in the same board. Maybe we cannot have it all, right? <laughs> Okay, let's go back here. This plugin even has a way to limit the work in progress. If we edit the list and let's choose three. Now we have a whip of three on this list. And if I move cards, you can see that now it's two of three. Let's move another one. Three of three three and let's create a new one here. And now, as you can see, we have four of three and it's red, kind of reddish. <laughs> That's not really red. Anyway, the whip limit, in my opinion, is one of the most important, maybe the most important agile good practice because it's pretty easy to add new cards to this list and keep adding cards to this list. But in reality, in the real world, there's always a limit to what we can accomplish. And this is why I think the whip limit is a very important good practice. There's a video here in the channel in which I explain whip limits uh, using a plain boarding uh, process. I'm not really proud of that video. It didn't come up like I would like it to. <laughs> I may record it in the future again, but for now you can check it here. I'm always working uh, on the maximum of three scripts. And when I say script can be a, 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 a draft for an article, a, a draft of a, a script, a video script, anything I'm writing, I'm always uh, perfecting that writing to make it better and better to be used as uh, a script for a video or an article. And then I move it to production. When, when it's good enough, I move it to production. And if it's a video, I'll use that script to record a video like we are doing here. Or, and if it's an article, uh, I'll move it here and I'll work on that article to publish that article or that newsletter. And publishing here means finish, refine it, and publish, not simply publish it, because there's, I have to 
give some final touches there in, in the case of the video I have to record the video edit and so on and an article or a newsletter I have to refine it and then publish it this is another good agile good practice each list has to have a dawn definition what makes that a complete activity a complete task if you will even if it's a team of one person in this case it's just me uh, and it's even more important if it is a, a real team multiple people working together everyone must understand what the definition is some of my clients they even add a description uh, at the top of each list to explain what is the definition of done what will allow that card to be moved from one list to another so there you have it another tip that will help you build uh, an efficient board so let's go back here because there are other interesting features that will also help us with efficient boards okay now I'm going back to the settings one thing I want to change here is the list width uh, let's make it 200 the main goal here is to be able to fit more lists because if you have this panel open and you're using this in a smaller screen things will get a little bit cramped here anyway that's the only reason and of course it's up to you let's close this and go back to the settings the other thing I want to show you here is that we can have tags with different colors so let's create a youtube tag okay background color let's make this red red and let's make this white okay now we have here two different ways to set this uh to see this tag so let me show you if i add here by the way this is not uh reading the tags you have inside the card i would love it to be doing that but it's not you have to add the tags here yourself so as you can see there are two tags because you can see the tag either after the title or below the title so let's go back to the settings and here you can let's see display the card okay hide tags in the card titles if we hide them now and if we go back you will only see the tags below the card and of course you can go the other way around uh hide the tags let's not hide this and let's hide this one if we go back now we have it below uh, uh right after the title this is not what i want let's go back and make it like this and sometimes it takes a while uh so let's do this okay there it is unfortunately there is another problem or maybe i couldn't figure out how to do it well, let's create a new tag here uh, a new color let's make this one black and white okay and let's create hashtag medium what happened what just happened medium. oh I have to put the hashtag here okay so what's the problem there's no way I couldn't find a way to filter all the cards that have the YouTube tag or all the cards that have the medium tag. If I click here, it's going to the filter here, but it's not filtering the cards here. I, I, I looked for it everywhere, but I couldn't find it. Closest I could get was something like this, but it's not really what I wanted <laughs> because it kind of works but I would like to only see the medium or whatever it is that I searched and make all the other cards go away like on Trello for example like I said before I'm not covering all the settings today but 
let me just show you. There are so many cool things here. For example, you can set dates, uh, even due dates, check boxes. There are many interesting features here. I don't use them, but if you want me to cover all the settings in, in another video, please leave a comment below. And by the way, if you are part of the people who come back to my channel <laughs> to watch new videos, please subscribe. Uh, less than half of you who come back all the time are subscribed. You'll be helping both of us. You get a notification when I publish new videos and the algorithm will love me a little bit more. Okay, let me show you the two last things I want to show you today. First, if you click the three dots, you'll have many options. Copy the card, duplicate the card, delete the card. But we also have here archived a card. And by the way, if you delete a card, you're not deleting the node, you're just deleting the card. So let's archive this card. And the first time I did this, I went crazy <laughs> because I couldn't find a way to see all my archived cards. I had to go back to the, to the manual. And here's the answer. This is the other thing I wanna show you today. If you click here, you see the markdown note uh, how this board is set as uh, a note in Obsidian. The lists are here, ideas, script, production, publish, and here's the archive card. If we move it back here, let's say publish, uh, and go back to the Kanban view, there it is again. This is so interesting because everything is here. It's a simple note. We can even create a new card from here. And now if we go back, there it is. It's pretty cool. And below here we have all the settings. For example, you can see the tags, the colors, everything is here. Anyway, if this one was useful, I'd appreciate it thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.